What's up, everybody? Tyson Roush, Let's Talk Jets Radio. Uh, we are live every Tuesday and Friday night at 8 o'clock. Um, we appreciate everybody who's been watching these videos. Uh, we really didn't know what to expect on this channel, so we're glad you guys like the videos. You're leaving plenty of feedback and comments. We're trying to keep track of it all. We're doing the best we can, so definitely thank you for that. Um, the biggest problem with the New York Jets right now, obviously, firing Gase is the easiest answer. Everybody knows it except Chris Johnson, but if you look at this organization, it's the culture of the entire organization. It's the mindset of this entire organization. And it's a loser mindset. It's a loser mentality. When you look at this team, they only had, they've only had one winning season since, what, 2010? You had 2015, Todd Bowles went 10-6. They had the epic meltdown in Buffalo. And they haven't won since then. It's been like, what, 4-12, and 5-11, and 5-11, the 1-7 this year. And the one thing you realize is that this team, this organization, has accepted losing. They've accepted excuses they've justified it they they fall under the umbrella of we're rebuilding and they find a way and it goes back this goes back to the Todd Bowles years when you have an ownership that says you know what we're going to tank this season to win or you know it's rebuilding and we have we they, they found ways to justify a loss and you have players that will embarrass the organization like Ryan Fitzpatrick will throw six interceptions and curse out the organization starts the next week you could have epic meltdowns in Arizona, get blown out on national TV in embarrassing fashion when your team doesn't even show up. No, no repercussions. Nobody benched, no nothing, no anger, no hostility. It's okay. Okay. On to the next week. You know, we lost. So what? There's no level of embarrassment in your organization. And when Adam Gase said he wasn't embarrassed, he's not because the organization's not embarrassed. They're, they're, they just don't get it. There's no football leadership or accountability from the top down. Like when you had a Bill Parcells running the team, you know certain things aren't going to be acceptable. Like the, the thing that Dow Roberts did with bashing the fans, he'd be benched, suspended, all kinds of stuff. It's not acceptable. If you're like if you're if you're Tremaine Johnson's not showing effort, he's not playing. When Mo Wilkerson was pulling his nonsense, he wouldn't be playing. When Revis was mailing it in and barely tackling, barely trying, he wouldn't be playing. Throughout the last four or five years, this team has just they've just lost it. They have lost any sense of what it means to be a ultra competitive, win it all costs organization, and it starts with ownership. You're let you're letting your team get away with it. You're buying all these nonsense plans from your general manager and your coach. Oh, we, we can't win this week because of this. We lost because of this. We lost because of that. Excessive penalties is a lack of discipline, lack of focus. You know these ridiculous amount of injuries this year. Nobody's asking what the hell's going on. Adam Gates had the same problem in Miami. Obviously, something's going wrong at practice. Nobody wants to talk about that. This year, again, you're looking at these, these losses are, are just ridiculously bad to a level that former players, former coaches are all saying, this is as bad as they've ever seen. Nothing is changing. Position coach stays the same. The head coach is not getting fired. The organization is content. We're going to ride it out. We're going to let it go. Not even worried about the embarrassment, the level of play, the damage you're due going forward that you're not developing any players, that you're actually your most important players are going backwards. And it's fine. Like, everything is fine. As long as you sell your jerseys and get your headlines in the paper and do your little fancy posts on social media, the Jets organization is fine. They just don't care. And it, 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 you've seen it. And I can tell you, it's just, it's, it's unbelievable at this point. And it's disappointing. And we keep talking about, you know, Adam Gase is going to bring in a new culture. The only thing he's brought in is more excuses and more losing. And I'll keep going back to it. When the Jets were completely fine, starting Luke Falk and losing games and blown out in embarrassing fashion, where they weren't even putting together a professional offense on the field, that spoke volumes. The fact that ownership and the general manager is like, that's cool. Hey, you know what? Things happen. We're just going to we're just gonna embarrass ourselves every week. We're going to get blown out every week. And be, it's cool. It, this is what we have to do. They accepted it. There was no repercussions for it. Adam Gase is losing every week in embarrassing fashion. No repercussions. The players aren't giving you max effort, making mistakes, not doing what they're supposed to be doing. No repercussions. Nobody's getting benched. The only time you get benched is if you get hurt. What kind of what kind of culture is this? This is from a top down, from ownership, general manager, coach to players. No accountability. They're all content. They're accepting or the losing. They're getting their fat ass paychecks and they're moving on. They've mailed it in already. You'll see it this Sunday. Uh, you know, it's like. And then the other thing is too is, please, for the love of God. If the Jets beat a, a bad Giants team that's decimated by injuries and rookie quarterbacks, Daniel Jones, and then Haskins next week, please don't pat yourself on the back. There's nothing to be proud of here. 
This season is a joke. And for you to beat a team that's on the same level or worse than you, you don't get that's not considered progress. That's considered you're just you're just showing up and a little bit better team has already quit. So you got two quitters and one has to win. Two losers, one has to win. It's the bottom of the barrel here. So don't pat yourself on the back and don't start rewarding yourself. Oh, look, we won two of our last three. You beat Daniel Jones and Haskins on two teams that are basically mailed it in and have no talent. Don't even be proud of yourself. And after the fact, they already lost to the Dolphins. So for me, this organization, the more this drags out, the fact they're willing to have this coach go out there and lead this team when you know that he's not the long-term answer, when you're fit, you just refuse to admit your mistake. Like, you knew you made a mistake with Todd Bowles, and you made him coach out the season because Sam Darnold needed consistency. Meanwhile, Todd Bowles didn't coach the offense. So now the whole thing is, oh, we need continuity in this list. At some point, you have to act like a professional organization that wants to actually win and knows what the hell they're doing. And what that means is you fire the coach, you let Greg Williams or your offensive coordinator, not the coordinator, the uh, Cooter, take over, and that's it. Like, you realize, okay, listen, we got we to gotta shake things up and let the players know we need business. This is not acceptable. Like, stop accepting losing. Stop accepting failure. Stop accepting b- embarrassing performances and think it's like the norm. You're losing every year. You haven't had a winning year since 2015 and before that, 2010. This is year upon year upon year of nothing. You haven't been in the playoffs in eight years. Don't act like you've accomplished anything. There's no championship resume here. There's no winning background here. Going Rex Ryan with the two championship games. That's our big hurrah. Woo, great job. That's it? That's, that's what we're proud of? Have higher standards. Starting with ownership. Demand more from everybody. General manager, you demand more. Head coach, you demand more. Players, demand more from your coach. That's the way winning organizations work. Not good. This, this, the longer this drags out, the worse it's going to get. And every hole in this organization is getting exposed. And the biggest hole starts up top, and it's dripping right down to the bottom. Take flight, Jets.